Lovely Lash Company to us is really a home and it's a place that you get to come and leave your troubles at the door. And as soon as you walk in, we call it the emerald green carpet. So we like to roll out that emerald green carpet for our guests and it truly starts by greeting them with their first name. Like that just makes somebody feel so special and it's those attentions to detail that we put into every touch point at our salon, whether it's me, Bria or Anna on all levels. Um, and it's really about making that person feel so confident and special in the way that they feel here, that when they leave, anything that they thought was happening on the outside world is just a totally different viewpoint because not only do they feel confident with their beautiful lashes or brows that they just got done, um, but the way that they feel inside for us um, makes, makes our job worth it. Hey everyone, you're now listening to Cup of Queens with Paige and Saray, and we're so excited to have the lovely Lash Company on the podcast. Bria, Ashley, and Anna talk about the business of lashes and so much more like the power of positivity, daily gratitude, and having mentors in your corner. The lovely Lash team talks with us about their greatest success since opening in 2020, along with some of the challenges and lessons they've learned entering into entrepreneurship. The team is full of energy, inspiring growth, and radiating confidence to those around them. So grab your cup and enjoy. Hello. Oh. Hi. Yeah. How are you guys? Good. How are you, ladies? Good. Good. How have you guys been? Good. Good. Minus the cold, it's a little chilly. Yeah. Not a fan, but how about you? You come here and you can have warm slippers and a cozy blanket. Okay, <laughs> okay say less. less. <laughs> yeah, say less. <laughs> so tell us all the things. We're so excited and we're so thankful that you guys are willing to come on Cup of Queens. So, you know, introduce and tell us all about Lovely Lash. Okay. Well, I'm Ashley. I am one of the owners of Lovely Lash Company. I've been lashing for 10 years full-time. Um, so that is what I've been doing for my large part of my career. I went to school at T-Spa. That's where I learned the art of lash extensions, worked at a spa in town and just found at that time that lashes were a lot more um, up and coming and busier than the facial side of things were. So I took the leap of faith and started lashing 10 years ago and just have continued to grow my skill set and dabble in some brows now, which I absolutely love. And that's been a new service that we've been doing here at Lovely Lash Company which has been really fun and I got to lash Bria for almost seven of those years I get a little bit of her time every now and then and so I love it because I'm like no I'm gonna do her with some tinder I want to give her some lashes and so it's always fun creating new looks because what I did way back when I first started to now is completely different and she's truly gotten to see that transformation um so that's that's been awesome yeah, and I'm Bria. I am the other owner of Lovely Lash Company. So I bring the administrative operational piece to our business, um, which is such a great, you know, 50-50 split. She oversees that lashing piece and I do that business side of it. And um, it's definitely um, been beneficial for us. Um, like Ashley said, she was my lash artist for seven years. As we moved into Lovely Lash Company and she would lash me every day, I come from corporate America um, we dreamt this dream, right? We could do this. This is something I know I've personally always had that entrepreneurial spirit and I wanted to do it. I took a different path. I felt like I needed to really round myself out and take on those leadership roles and that HR role to truly understand um, what I needed to be successful to be an entrepreneur. And so I took that leap of faith in February of 2020. I left my full-time job, my <laughs> security blanket. <laughs> and then boom, the pandemic hit. Um, my world stopped for a hot minute. Um, but definitely if there's anything like my military career stopped me is like adapt and overcome. Adjust, fire, pivot, 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 wherever you possibly can. Um, and we did that um, as well as we started our build out here at Lovely Lash Company, you know, continued to stay abreast of all the changes that we were going to have to, you know, grow accustomed to, to make sure that our guests were safe when we did open, as well as um, I was activated with the North Dakota National Guard. So I was kind of double hatting it. I'd pop in and I, my little uh, construction guys would be here. I'm like this, 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 and I'd be like, I'll be back. <laughs> um, so it was, it was interesting. I mean, definitely uh, learned a lot. You don't know what you don't know. Um, hindsight 2020, two years ago. And what I know now is vastly different. And 
I'm on a mission to share that with anybody and everybody I can um, that wants to be an entrepreneur or has that drive. So and then this- I'm pumped. I'm yeah. like, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready to hear more about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then this is Anna. I'm a little add on today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving yeah. yeah. so, This is the Lash Club. Oh, yeah. So we're the Lash Club. I'm Anna. I've been lashing now since 2019. That's when I was in SD school. I worked at a Medi Spa for a hot second and then realized I really wanted to do lashing. Tried to bring it there, but they didn't really want it, which is fine. So I went and looked for it. And Ashley took me on in. And to say I've learned more with Ashley than I learned in school is a complete understatement. It's been so fun to really show in, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just so excited about the opportunity and how much growth that I've had and just seeing and creating different relationships, different bonds with other lash artists and with my clients. It's just so much fun. Mm-hmm. So cool. What so a fun. like trifecta between the three of you. Literally. Like you have <laughs> right. every person from every and which is so cool. It is clear that you have an incredible team. Mm-hmm. So for those who are listening, who might not be f- familiar with Lovely Lash, tell us, give us a little overview on how it came to be and who you are. Well, getting to know Bria and having her as my, um, we like to call them guests for almost seven years. It was just this place where we would talk and dream of what could be and what it would be like and what we'd want and how we'd want this person to feel when they came into our space. And so Lovely Lash Company to us is really a home and it's a place that you get to come and leave your troubles at the door. And as soon as you walk in, we call it the emerald green carpet. So we like to roll out that emerald green carpet for our guests. And it truly starts by greeting them with their first name like that just makes somebody feel so special and it's those attentions to detail that we put into every touch point at our salon whether you're waiting for your service and you might talk to Anna you might get checked in by Bria you might um, have me get your slippers and your blankets so we really try to stay connected with our guests whether it's me Bria or Anna on all levels Um, and it's really about making that person feel so confident and special in the way that they feel here that when they leave anything that they thought was happening on the outside world is just a totally different viewpoint because not only do they feel confident with their beautiful lashes or brows that they just got done um, but the way that they feel inside for us um, makes makes our job worth it yes we get to give you beautiful lashes but we truly get to connect with you as a human um, and bring out something inside of our guests that radiates more beauty than lashes could I feel like truly ever ever give them Yeah. You know, I, I tell all the students when we go out and I tell our team, it is, yes, lash application is so important, but most importantly is being able to build those relationships. Mm-hmm. And that is truly the foundation that we've built ourselves here mm-hmm. at Lovely Lash Company is building those relationships with our guests, getting to know them on an individual level, um, and really understand what's going on in their life and being able to help boost that confidence a little bit or help them out wherever, you know, it might be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. I feel like if you make somebody, you know, feel really good, that's just going to continue to radiate, mm-hmm. you know, when they go out to the community and, you know, back home to their family and friends. And so, you know, speaking a little bit more about that, what are different daily practices that you guys swear by to maybe feel your best in your everyday life? Definitely starting my day with gratitude. Wow. Anybody's awake in the house have that time to myself to really um, be grateful for what I have in my life um, and what brings me joy, um, those positive thoughts. Because the minute the fam wakes up or the minute you walk in the office, the wheels could fall off the bus. But guess what? I've got that gratitude in the back of my mind that's going to carry me throughout the day um, and keep me you know, upbeat and on my toes and able to take on whatever comes my way. And a way we share that with our team is we actually have a wall in our back break room with all different positive affirmations and envelopes and that you get to stick into somebody's envelope um, and just remind them like you are powerful. You are confident. You are a true leader. You are a retail master. <laughs> right? so just to see that little note when you walk in the break room after a guest, after a guest, you're like, okay. I got this. They got my back like together like that. That's a way that we can do that here. Um, and we love, we love how it makes us feel. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Dang, I, I love, love that. that. Grat- I would like, bring that to I know. the office. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really great idea. <laughs> okay. So gratitude, what else? Positive attitude. I feel like a positive attitude really, really stretches and goes a long way. And also it's like that domino effect, right? You're, you're positive. You're happy. You're complimenting your clients or guests. You're complimenting your coworkers. I mean, that just trickles down into everybody feeling good about themselves. And that sets a tone and a culture that we find really, really important in our business to have that great culture and just make sure everybody feels welcome and happy and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love that. Something we also like to do daily is we have a team huddle. So as we kick off our day as a team, we come together, we talk about our goals, we talk about Hey, if there's any issues that we see where somebody can help out, what's going on, we use this educational time. Um, it really, the sky's the limit for what we do with those huddles. You could walk in and somebody could be playing a Whitney Houston song and that just to kick off that huddle, you know, like whatever you need to do, but it's a way for us to come together and set the stage for the day um, and just have that quick group think and it's, it's been, it's impactful. I think when we do it, we see definitely positive results of us coming together. Yeah, that's really great. So mm-hmm. curious, how large is your team? So we currently have three full-time lash artists and then including myself, um, we have room for a total of five lash artists. So we are in the process of hiring lash artists or lash artists are very hard to come by. Um, they are a hot commodity. Um, so we are continuing to grow our team. Um, we most recently here will be onboarding an intern through from NDSU. Yeah. Um, she is a entrepreneur student. And so I've made a connection with NDSU. So to be able to bring her in and really just show her the ropes, take her around, take her to the startup brews and North Dakota Women's Business Center and just kind of help her with a foundational piece of what it takes to be an entrepreneur and run a business and grow her. So we have her here with us through May um, and hopefully maybe longer. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) that is so exciting. And I love that you are offering an opportunity that's so further beyond, you know, just lashes. Mm -hmm. It's building a business and being a part of a really incredible team. You mentioned a couple of the different things that you do for culture. And I want to go back to kind of that entrepreneurial mindset. And you mentioned in the beginning of our conversation that what you thought you knew about business in 2020 versus what you know today is vastly different. So tell us some of those lessons that you've learned within this journey that might be helpful for any aspiring entrepreneurials Mm -hmm. out there. Um, You have to be resourceful. You have to reach out. You have to connect to find those resources, to make those local connections, to be able to be like, oh, So where did you do this? How did you do this? Like, so you yourself can connect. And, um, you know, for us, like our biggest cheerleaders were the female entrepreneurs of Fargo-Moorhead. They showed up for us, right? And we didn't know it. They would come in our business, you know, as we were, had our doors open, the world was shutting down. You know, we're trying to like build a brand and say, come in here, like, don't worry, you're safe. Like, we're going to take care of you. We're going to make sure, you know, we follow all the protocols. Um, but these local entrepreneur women would show up here and all of a sudden blast us on their social media. And, and like, did you know you just did your lashes? Yes. She's like, no, I had no idea. And they're like, you know, they like, they oh, yeah. so helped get our name out there, who we were, who we, what we stood for. When we had our one year birthday, our mission was to give back, give back to them and share them with our guests because they have done so much for us. And I, and they continue to, and those relationships we truly value. Um, as we continue on this journey, um, but find it, find yourself a resource, somebody that can guide you, somebody that can direct you. You're not always going to make the right decision, but right. As long as you make the best decision for your business at that point in time, and you're able to adjust accordingly, right. When that, that curveball comes at you, right. You got to be able to adjust around it. You can't have that meltdown. You, that's where you find those resources and help you. Um, strategize to find a way around it. You know, for us, um, we have a business coach. Uh, we are actually a team-based pay salon through strategies. Um, they have been an amazing resource for us to connect, to grow, um, talk all things business, um, which has definitely helped us. 
um, always have that at the forefront of our mind, but also just to to con- really continue to drive forward and where we can challenge ourselves, right? And um, where we need to reset, take a break and adjust, you know, to make sure that we make that next decision. And we have to have that intentional execution right away. I think you just do things to do things, right? No, it has to be intentional when you execute, whatever it is. So 2023, it's all about intentional execution and truly knowing our why, right? If you know your why, like you are going to be able to drive your business like nobody is. Um, and you're going to get that buy-in from your team. So I really love that word intentional. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's a really strong, powerful word. Um, so how do you guys feel? I mean, how can you be intentional? How can you make decisions, whether you're a business owner or, you know, maybe you, you know, just work for someone, but how can you be intentional? I think you can be intentional by thinking more of like, not only does it affect me, but who is it affecting around me? Right. And like, what, are, what's that ripple effect? And if you just take a minute and right, I think we all have to do this. Just take a minute, think about the situation and who's that ripple effect and who is it going to affect along the way. And if you can see that from all point of views and not just a narrow minded view, I think that is a way you can really help be more intentional for your whole business as general or somebody you work for. Um, just because you work for somebody doesn't mean that intention shouldn't be there and that you can't help grow that. It's just right, being a little bit more methodical and just taking a step back and not being so rational and like quick to just shoot something out. It's like just, just take a hot minute and it'll probably come together a lot better than just throwing something out there. Yeah. And when I, when I hear intentional and then bringing up working for somebody, as I do, yeah. um, I automatically connect that word with respect. So, I mean, if you're respectful of those around you, of your guests, and especially of those you work for, I feel like the connection there is just going to be there. So that's, I mean, the two connect for me. And that's been really important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. And respect for, you know, if you are your own business, respect for yourself. Why would you take time to throw darts at a board when you can just be intentional and, you know, be respectful of your time? I love that. I've never heard respect and intentional combined together. And it makes so much sense yeah. in all aspects. And with that, mm-hmm. too, being intentional takes a lot of organization and processing time to sort through your thoughts and get yourself together. So, I would love to hear how you all stay organized and in conjunction with that, maybe motivated to keep organized. Cause I think, I I feel like I've heard a lot of ways to be organized, but the motivation to maybe continue to be organized is sometimes there. So I'd love to hear your Mm -hmm. tips on what has helped you through this journey. Oh. <laughs> I feel like as a creative person, you constantly are like in your head and things are just rolling. This is a loaded question. For yeah. Me. <laughs> like, it's big. It's big. I have questions in one. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, right? But like as a, as a creative person, I try to have processes and I, and I really try to just stick to the book, but sometimes my brain just goes another direction. And, and when I get off, I get off, right? And if I just would have stuck to the plan that I literally had mapped out in front of me in a guide and just went back to reference, I think referencing could be huge, right? Just take a minute and go back and reference what that plan is. And don't let all these other thoughts get in the way. You can perfect it once you've got once you've got it down, but just stick to, stick to that roadmap you had. Um, and it's going to get you there a lot quicker than everywhere (laughs) but to add on to that with Ashley it's totally different when she's training people so with her training she's completely organized to the point of like there's specifications that I would have never thought of but it's great because it really opens up the mind because she's so creative and so there's a there's a good part to that I promise It's always exciting to hear too that there's, I mean, what one person looks at as being like, oh my gosh, I'm not prepared or I got off track. You know, another person is admiring and saying like, wow, I would have never thought of it that way. Yeah. And I think that's the bonus of our team. We have so many different strengths and weaknesses that we can play off of and write that maybe this is Ashley's strong suit or this is Bria's or Anna's that it's accountability. Like we hold each other accountable. We know, right. As a collaborative effort, who needs to cover here, here, here to execute whatever that might be. Um, and I think that we're really good at that. Like we, we come from all different facets of life. So to be able to bring that together, 
um, and sit down, you know, with our meetings and kind of like, here's what the game plan is. Here's what's going to happen. Ashley, you're going to own this, this, this. Um, and then, you know, coming back together to hold each other accountable um, to make sure that we do stay on task. And, and if, if you, we have to adjust, we figure we find something new, like, right. If, like, Hey, I can't keep organized. We, we find solutions to help that individual maybe find a better way to stay organized or be prepared for, you know, what, what's up and coming. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was literally just going to ask, what is it like working with your team? But I feel like you totally answered that. So that's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it. So what about some of your guys' greatest successes and challenges that you've seen or that you've encountered since opening day one? What are some of those highlights or not so great highlights? No, no, there's, I, I think, right, there's success. And I think everybody's success is different. What you view as successful, we probably view differently as success. And for us, it's every little thing day by day that we have done that has got us here almost two and a half years later, like that's success to us. We're here. It's the daily um, coming together as a team. It's the daily helping each other out. It's the daily accountability that we get from each other. And to take that and do something with it. And I mean, there's a lot of success we've had, but it's everything small that has truly built up to, to the big success of us just being open and being here as a team and continuing to grow Lovely Lash Company day by day by day. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think too, like another success um, that's really big for our team is giving back to our community. Mm -hmm. And that is, that holds like a very, you know, big spot in our hearts. Um, and, you know, for, for us, you know, our, one of our core values is the dedication to serving others, right? And you see that in the services we offer here at Lovely Lash Company, but we also do it outside these four walls. And it's something that once a quarter, our team gets together and we go about and we give back wherever we possibly can. You know, we really try to spread that, like with maybe what Anna's passion is, find something that suits that or feeds that. So we can understand that and be a part of that. Or, you know, something for myself, you know, we just actually just went out, we were the Giving Hearts Ambassadors for Northern Cass um, elementary, middle school, middle school class, 155 <laughs> of them. Yeah, it was Goodness. insanity, insanity, but it was great. Yeah. <laughs> Those Those have a lot of energy <laughs> to go out and right, just educate them on what Giving Hearts Day is and how easy for you to spread gratitude or thankfulness. You know, like they might always not have the money to donate, um, but definitely they can, you know, spread that kindness. And so that was our mission. Um, we bought, we met with the middle schoolers, <laughs> then we had the elementary learners, uh, but it was so much fun and definitely something that, you know, we continue to do is to find those opportunities to give back to our community. It really has a ripple effect in our business um, from all of us, right? It just makes us a lot fuller hearted, happier. And right. That's a ripple effect down to our guests. They get that because they experience that from us because, and right. It makes our community a better place to live. Ultimately. So. I have something to add too. Yeah. So those are two different successes and I have a different one as well. Um, so when I, when I experience success here, the one main thing I think about is when we were recognized with that company that we work with, Strategies, we had an award ceremony and we were recognized for two different divisions of their awards. And I, I mean, we won one of them and it was amazing. And the other one was their, I mean, their top category and it was pretty cool to be recognized. Yeah. And so that's something physically successful, getting a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a different aspect of it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It was, and that was really cool. I mean, hundreds of companies and we've only, you know, been in business for two years and for them to recognize us on that stage um, for what our team did was overwhelming. Like it was the coolest experience ever. <laughs> yeah. Like I relive it all the time. Every time I look at the pictures, like I can feel those feelings again. <laughs> it was so funny. Like we were so excited when they told us we won. Like we just stood at the table and kept hugging each other and they were waiting yeah. for us to get on stage. Like, come on, <laughs> like what but, happened? Yeah. And I'm like, that happened? Yeah, yeah what? <laughs> yes. That's so awesome. I love it. And I mean, you are all so positive and so you can tell that you just radiate positivity and that I can only imagine those little wins daily, like you mentioned, and then those big wins, like being recognized on stage are probably so fun on your team. And I do, I, I don't want to let you out of the question about challenges because I think as an entrepreneur, which I'm like, these guys are just so like happy that they're, you're not even thinking about the challenges, which is so fun. 
And also, I think a lot of our listeners or maybe those who are aspiring to do something, they they hear about those successes. And then when they get into it and they run into those challenges, they think they're doing something wrong or they think, am I messing up? Am I not equipped for this? So have you had any of those moments where you did feel like, oh, my gosh, are we ready for this? Are we prepared? And how did you navigate through some of those harder times? Yeah, I mean, I think there's, right, you can ebb and flow, we're human, we've got good days, we've got bad days. Um, But honestly, like, if you can, I I know we sound positive, but truly surround your people that you can show up with that bad day, collaborate on it, talk about it, move forward from it, and right, not get stuck in that, oh, what am I doing, I shouldn't be doing this, but you've got those people that you can rely on and and work through those challenges together. it, it, it even makes you stronger because you connect on such a deeper level of vulnerability. Like, I, I don't know if this is what I should be doing. I don't know if I'm a good lash artist. I don't know if I'm a good business owner, right? You think about all those things, but when you get to like come back to that group of people who's got your back and is going to help you like continue to move forward. Um, yeah, there are challenges and it's hard, but it's, it's those goals and you get to see the little wins that are like, okay, that bad day just got turned around because of, you know, the experience we gave somebody or how I made somebody feel or that somebody walked into our salon who had never heard about us before. Like, oh, yeah, we would love to get you in today. Like, right? <laughs> it doesn't make a slow day seem so bad. Um, so, yeah, it's so yeah, I, we're human. I mean, we're all going to have those emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Huh? You had something to say? I think for me, I mean, thinking maybe more selfishly, but for myself as a lash artist, especially starting out from school in 2019 and then the pandemic and then starting a new job with this whole unknown scenario with a new business and just kind of <laughs> on that side of it, like, am I sure this is what I want to do? But no, I mean, I, I put full trust in you guys and it's been, I mean, it's been great, but there's been those moments, not specifically that I can think of, but where I have struggled thinking, is this something for me? You know, is there, I'm not getting the retention I want. I'm not getting this certain style to look the way I want. It's not looking like it does online on Instagram because Instagram is just always going to be something you can't compare to. Um, and it's, it's those, those people around you, like we said, pushing you, getting you to where you should be. And that's what I've had support system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree with that. Like, I think that support system is such a significant piece. And, you know, Anna has been with us since the day we opened Lovely Lash Company. We actually hired her before we opened to get her trained up. So when we did open our doors, um, so she has seen our growing pains, right? As an entrepreneur, you're not perfect. And the hustle's real. I mean, I might be answering the phone, doing the books turning stations, checking in guests, cleaning toilets. Like (laughs) I do a little bit of everything. Like I, it's, you don't, you're not just like riding the glory, hanging out, getting the paycheck. Right. And, and there are, there are times that, right. That as you open a business and you're trying to figure it out and you're trying to make ends meet, find a mentor, find somebody that can help you understand that cash flow plan, understanding, you know, what, what your profit is and knowing, you know, how much does it cost you a month to operate? And then how much are you spending and how much is actually really left over? Or is there anything really left over? Like you have yeah. to find those people in your life that are going to, to help you better understand it. And I think too often they get to the point, they get defeated and it's like, I don't think this is meant for me. And that's not true. It's just finding the right people along your journey to help support you. Um, and there are so many of them in our community. It's it's overwhelming how much support is out there and how many people um, are willing to take the time to really sit down with you, you know, and, you know, whether it's financial, whether it's your tax purposes, or there's so many resources. I think for us, one of the biggest challenges, and I know I talk about it, is, is opening up in the middle of a pandemic. Mm-hmm. You know, we had employees. It, it was touch and go, whether, you know, is that employee going to make enough to be here to put, to pay their rent, to pay their, their, you know, put gas in their vehicle. You know, I mean, it's, you think about all those things as an entrepreneur, when you have employees, like, I don't think about myself. I don't think about me getting the paycheck. I think about them getting the paycheck and being able to survive. Um, And I think one of a huge success for us, you know, after our first year of being open 
um, and battling through COVID and, you know, trying to build our brand and getting our name out there. And we don't make a lot of money. <laughs> so I know we met Paige when we were talking some marketing and we were like, I don't, we can't even afford it. I don't know. Like, so I, I was going to bring every, it up, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> I was, yeah, I resourced every like free possible like marketing avenue. Yeah. And like, I mean, I had to like spin myself up on it. I had to educate myself techniques. on it. Techniques, being consistent and to build our brand and get our names out there and different things. And, and like I said, I learned you have to be intentional with that execution because it became like, I was doing this, I was doing this, 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 and this. And um, I finally had to pull the reins back and reset and be like, all right, let's, let's focus on what we need to do and what's important. And, and we have to let things over a course of time, see it through to truly find out, is it working or not? Just because, oh, it didn't work for a week. That doesn't mean it's not working. You have to have that consistency and you have to allow it that 30, 60, 90 or whatnot to uh, make sure. But um, so, yeah, we uh, we definitely we've learned a lot. I mean, and we continue to learn a lot. Like our journey of learning as entrepreneurs is never going to stop. I learn something new every day, whether it's about lashing, whether it's about a guest, whether it's about something different in our business that we can do that might benefit us. Um, it's it's a continuous journey to learn and grow. And um, we want the same for our, our team. Um, and that's, that's one of our biggest things here is to educate and give back as well as grow our team. And so that's why you see Anna here. <laughs> Anna is newest to kind of our leadership team as we want to continue to grow her. Um, she may not want to be a lash artist forever. And so for us, we want to find those opportunities because we know that they exist. Um, and so we want better for her and we want to offer her something more. So, so that's cool. awesome. I really love where we talked about um, finding that mentor mm -hmm. and just continuing to grow and challenge yourself. And I think that's just really great advice for anybody, no Absolutely. matter what you do and where you are. Yeah. At your point of life. And I think with that too, it's <laughs> clear that you, you all instill so much confidence into each other, into the community and into your clients. And we always ask this and we have to hear it from the three of you. What does a queen mean to you? You want to go? No, nope. you can go. Okay. <laughs> so what does a queen mean? Um, a fearlessly authentic, badass, confident, strong individual that inspires others to, to be the best version of themselves. Love. That's that's I mean, the most part. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't if if that nailed it on the head, that's okay. But the, if you have anything else to add, please do. Do you have anything else to add? I used to be a vet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh that well I used to be a vet tech right Ashley used to be a beauty queen pageant and then, awesome. <laughs> then um with my background um a queen is a female cat so <laughs> I love That's it we're getting too. a variety yeah. here yeah. it's all about variety here yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lots of queens here <laughs> Well, we have just loved this. This has been so you guys fun. Are so fun. So uh, great. And I feel like having us. we know everyone's going to be yeah. obsessed with you three and is going to want to learn more. We're going to want to hear more. So plug away. Tell us where everyone can find you, how they can get connected and what they can expect to see in the future. Um, so check out our website, lovelylashcompany.com. You will truly find every look, every style, every desire you want on that website. All the information is on there. What, what, what you can expect during that service, what look you can get during that service. Um, we love our website. And so we truly want you to go look, um, go look that up. Uh, social media. We like to have fun on there. We like to be informational. So lovely lash company underscore on Instagram and lovely lash company on Facebook. Um, but we are rolling out a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> to us, um, it's, it's, it's simple, but we are going to make it a place of education and learning because far too often, I believe, you know, guests get lash services and they're not educated and they, they don't know how to take care of them. They don't know how to brush them. They don't know how to wash them. You don't know how to wear makeup with them. So we really want to make that YouTube channel fun. Anna is a YouTube guru. Um, she spends lots of time on YouTube. And so she she's going to give us the tips and the tricks um, for that. But you can find it at Lovely Lash Company Fargo, I believe on YouTube. Um, so stay tuned with that fun, uh, fun stuff. 
Yeah. yeah. That's so and then obviously we're located in West Fargo. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> right off of the Trans Boulevard. So you can always get us on the phone. Mm -hmm. Love it. Perfect. Well, we'll link everything. So it's super easy for people to find you guys and connect. And I'm so excited to release this episode. And I also, I just love your guys' branding. I think your colors, oh, everything obsessed. is so just great. Kiss. So <laughs> you guys are really cute. This compliment coming from you too. <laughs> oh, good. No, it's so good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. So good to meet you. <laughs> <laughs>